Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, an MPV from Mitsubishi, the 2018 Expander GLS AT, and a compact SUV from Volkswagen, the 2018 Tiguan 280 TSI DSG SC. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 Toyota Prius Prime, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two luxury mid-size SUVs, the Peugeot 308 and the BMW X3, together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry. We shall have the recently held 8th STV Golf Cup Invitational as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Mitsubishi. In this car review, we have a newcomer in the MPV segment, the Mitsubishi Expander. This new car has brought thrill to the fans and car enthusiasts long before it even set foot to the Philippines. Let's find out why. Watch this. We have the Mitsubishi Expander GLS variant. It's powered by a 1.5-liter DOHC engine, which gives out 105 PS of power and 141 Newton meters of torque. This engine is mated to a 4-speed automatic transmission, which isn't the most advanced, but it does the job powering the Expander through the roads. For the suspension, it uses a McPherson with coal spring at the front and torsion beam at the rear. It's a pretty simple suspension layout, but it makes for a good road trip by supporting the car greatly. When talking about the design of the Expander GLS, many have pointed out that it doesn't look basic and that the company really spent time and effort on the details of the exterior. It has that sporty and modern touch. It's something that would easily come in your mind if you ever think about what an MPV from the future would look like. It's attributed to the sharp lines that go around the vehicle, its LED headlamps, the dynamic shield grille, and the halogen headlights which complete the looks. The Expander GLS faces the urban roads with 16-inch alloy wheels. Inside, 
The dashboard is a show stealer. It's simple, yet everything the driver needs is within reach, and it looks elegant. It's further highlighted by the 7-inch touchscreen display that comes with six speakers and is available with AM FM, MP3, USB, aux, and Bluetooth connectivity. As for the seats, they are wrapped in fabric. The legroom is pretty generous as well. When it comes to safety and security, the Expander GLS is equipped with the needed features, including central locking, anti-lock braking system, and airbags, among others. That was the Mitsubishi Expander, a newbie worthy of its spot on the country's MPV scene, our featured model on Car Review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after the break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. The multi-brand Summer Test Drive Festival powered by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology has yet again concluded a successful staging this year. During the four-day event, a total of 2,562 visitors walked in at the SML of Asia Grounds to check out the latest products and innovations from 11 of the country's top car companies and manufacturers. The participating brands included GAC Motor, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Mitsubishi, MG. Nissan, Sangyo, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota. The 2019 Summer Test Drive Festival showcased a number of latest cars and models from these respective companies. However, the top 10 cars that visitors checked out the most were Nissan's Terra, Honda Civic RS and CRV, Mitsubishi's Expander and Strada, Toyota's RAV4, Hyundai's Kona, MG's MG6, and Suzuki's Ertiga. Let's hear it from the test drivers. 
na dinig ko siya sa radio and immediately since free naman so I come here and test drive all the vehicles. Maganda naman kasi nasusubukan yung kung ano talagang kaya ng sasakyan. So it was a nice experience. Okay kasi kompleto siya may ma feel mo suspension tapos may straight pati yung brake mo detest mo. Nakaka-overwhelm na may ganto kasi nadi-discover mo yung iba't ibang klase ng car lalo na yung mga hindi ka familiar like ito yung MG kasi hindi naman siya usual sa bansa natin. So una overwhelming saka I think it helps promote the car industry sa bansa ayon. Actually bibili ako ng kotse so iniisip ko if bago ka bumili dapat mag-test drive ako muna. That's why nakita ko sa Facebook so naging opportunity nandito. Ako. Top executives and officials from the participating car companies and manufacturers and members of the motoring media bonded over the traditional cocktails, which was held on the first day of the Test Drive Festival. Volkswagen Philippines recently turned over nine Santana subcompact sedans to CW Home Depot. In 2017, CW Home Depot got four Jetta sedans for its executives' use, and in 2018, it brought in four Santanas for its managers. This recent acquisition by the Home Construction and Renovation Store brings the total number of Volkswagen vehicles in its fleet to 17. According to Volkswagen, CW Home Depot's brand for its customer, which centers on convenience and practicality, is aligned with its choice of the Volkswagen Santana as the vehicle for its top sales representatives. Toyota Motor Philippines is offering its customers easy deals and promos on the Vios, Innova, Hilux, Fortuner, and more. Customers can choose to pay low with the all-in package at an affordable 15% down payment and get free first-year insurance and three-year LTO registration or pay light with low monthly plans at 50% down payment and 60 months to pay. Outright cash discounts are also available according to Toyota. More summer deals are also available for other models. Get as much as 100,000 pesos off savings on the Hilux, as much as 90,000 pesos on the Fortuner, and as much as 70,000 pesos on the Innova. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven-seater in style. All-new El Tiga. Debut. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. Our featured cars in this head-to-head -head both arrived in the market changed for much, much better. One of them boasts a new powertrain, while the other one is the latest version of one of the biggest nameplates of its brand. We're talking about the Peugeot 3008 and the BMW X3. In this comparison, we'll see how these two cars put luxury in the luxury mid-size SUV segment. Watch this.
Here we have the Peugeot 3008 and the BMW X3 xDrive 20D X-Line. We'll start with the engines. As mentioned, the Peugeot 3008 comes with a new powertrain. It is now powered by a 2-liter Blue HDI GT Line turbocharged diesel engine. It gives out 150 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, under the hood of the BMW X3 X line is a 2 liter engine as well, which produces 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, a little higher than of the 3008s. For the car's transmissions, the 3008's engine is mated to Peugeot's 6 speed efficient automatic transmission, or the EAT6. On the other hand, the X-Drive is coupled with an 8-speed Steptronic transmission. Both of these gears match the two cars' respective engine layouts, and they both provide good support when the cars are on the road. Let's check out the two cars' exterior designs. Looking at the 3008, and considering that this is the first version of the model, one can point out that Peugeot wanted it to look different, yet still familiar. While redesigning the 3008, the company surely had their logo, the Lion, on their mind. It reflects on the contrasting roof and body colors of the car. Moreover, the design of the 3008 is highlighted by its signature LED front headlamps, long bonnet, large wheels, and high grand clearance. The 3008 powers through on the road with 18-inch Los Angeles diamond alloy wheels. Moving on to the X-Drive, its design is familiar as well. It's probably because it follows the other X3's design and structure. But what highlights the exterior of this car are the radiator grills and the other details that have an aluminum accent. The X-Line also comes with specifically designed 19-inch alloy wheels, which emphasize the sporty feel of the car. Comparing the two cars' exteriors, the 3008 clearly has more details to it, but both are sights to behold on the road. It's time to take a little tour on the two luxury midsize SUVs. Inside the 3008, it's evident that the sleek style of the exterior continues into the interior. Inside, it's a mix of fabric and leather, which complements each other, giving that elegant and sporty feel to the car. Furthermore, the driving experience is immediately amplified through Peugeot's next-generation iCockpit. The most noticeable feature of the new iCockpit is the 12.3-inch all-digital instrument panel. Along these advanced technologies, the seats of the 3008 are also one of the major highlights of the interiors. The driver's seat has 8-way power adjustment, while the front seats are equipped with massagers, and the climate control has three types of scents to choose from. When it comes to the infotainment system, which is every car's crowning glory, the 3008 comes with an 8-inch touchscreen, with functions for MP3, Bluetooth, USB, Miralink, and Wi-Fi. On the other hand, as you hop inside the X-Drive, you'll be greeted with elegance. You can easily tell this because of the seats that are wrapped in Vernasca leather upholstery. The X-Line also boasts interior trim in black high gloss with pearl chrome trim finishers. What's new in the X-Line is that it is equipped with three-zone automatic climate control, something that's not offered for its predecessors. Moreover, a passenger of five can comfortably adjust the rear seat backrests. For the X-Drive's infotainment system, it is with a responsive 10.25-inch touch-sensitive central display, much bigger than of the 3008s. In addition, the audio system comes with six speakers and is available in aux and USB connectivity. Now talking about safety and security, both of our featured luxury midsize SUVs are equipped with the standard features. The 3008 comes with Peugeot's standard features such as ABS with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, immobilizer, front and rear parking sensors, and hill start assist, among other features. Meanwhile, the X-Drive comes with power steering, cruise control, power windows, parking sensors, central locking, and immobilizer. Those were the Peugeot 3008 and the BMW X3, two cars that best reflect the continuous innovations of their respective brands. We hope that you have decided which one to go for by now. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world. 
spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing in this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 Toyota Prius Prank. Let's watch this. Toyota Prius Prime gets many upgrades for 2020 and remains the most efficient Toyota hybrid and one of the best options to protect drivers from price hikes at the gas pump. Available this summer, the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the LE grade will be $27,600, the MSRP for the XLE grade will be $29,500, and the MSRP for limited grade will be $33,500. The word Prime, which is defined as being the best or at the top, is a natural fit for the Prius model as it's the most technologically advanced best equipped Toyota Prius in the model's nearly two-decade global history. With the power to run in either EV20 or hybrid driving modes, Prius Prime strikes a harmonious balance between necessity and desire. New upgrades for 2020 include new fifth seat for even more room, standard Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, and Amazon Alexa, two additional USB ports for the rear passengers, Black interior accents to replace various white accents for a more premium feel. A new sun visor extender. A relocation of seat heater buttons for front seat passengers for easier usability. New grade strategy that offers LE, XLE, and limited grades. The Prius Prime is the most efficient Toyota hybrid yet. When the charge has run out, Prius Prime has a manufacturer estimated 54 combined MPG. Designed with intelligent tech, premium materials, and thoughtful engineering, the Prius Prime represents the next step of Toyota's continuous quest to reach more efficient mobility with less range anxiety, without compromise. With its manufacturer estimated 640-mile total driving range and 25-mile EV Mode 20 driving range, Prius Prime continues to raise the efficiency bar to help challenge what's possible. The powertrain is a Toyota first, thanks to a dual-motor drive system that improves acceleration in EV mode for a fun drive. The Prius Prime is also great for commuters as it's HOV approved as a single occupant green vehicle in some states such as California and New Jersey. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Continuing with its tradition, Sunshine Television recently hosted its annual STV Golf Cup Invitational as a way of giving back to the pillars of the local auto industry, motoring journalists as well as friends and supporters of the company through the years. In this special feature, we have for you the highlights of the fun field event. Watch this.
Elvis, Elvis. The eighth staging of the STV Golf Cup Invitational was held at the Riviera Golf and Country Club in Cavite. STV, together with the attendees and participants composing of top executives from the local car industry, motoring media, and friends, looked back on the history of the said tradition. It started nearly seven years ago in celebration of the 25th anniversary of STV's Motoring Today, and since then, a lot of friendships and camaraderie have been developed among the regulars. To this day, everybody turns up at the Riviera Golf and Country Club with a huge smile on their faces as well as excitement for the challenging yet fun day ahead despite the scorching heat. By the end, although it was a friendly competition, winners for different categories emerged. For the Fun Holes category, it is divided into four subcategories such as Most Accurate Drive, Longest Drive, Nearest to the Pin, and Longest Putt. Mr. Jude Racadio won the Most Accurate Drive category, driving the ball 5 inches from the chalk line. Meanwhile, the Longest Drive category was bagged by Mr. Norio Sua, driving the ball 266 yards across hole number 2. Mr. Sua also won the overall Net Champion Award. This is a fantastic, I mean, this is a great golf event that I ever experienced and attend and joined. I played with a very nice uh, team, um, Arnel Art, so I really enjoyed it. Mr. Satoru Suzuki, on the other hand, won the nearest to the pin for hole number 8, with one pin and one foot. Longest putt was made by Mr. Jake Aison for hole number 17 with one pin. For the Class A category, Mr. Tay Sotnet of Lika Auto Group won second runner-up, while Mr. Anthony Suntai of TV5 and DWIZ went home as the first runner-up, and Mr. Jerry Aquino of La Suerte as the champion. I'm very honored that I am always uh, playing here and uh, always be invited by Sir Boots and Miss Jenny. It's a nice chance for us to get to play at the same time also get together with old friends. I haven't had a chance to talk to Raymond in a couple of years, so it's great to be able to play. So. We're enjoying ourselves, we're enjoying the company more than the golf. But once again, STV, thank you very much for having me because unfortunately I wasn't able to make it last year. Meanwhile, for Class B, Mr. Satoru Suzuki of Toyota Motor Philippines was awarded the second runner-up, while Mr. Willie T. Ted of Auto Hub Group and Mini won as first runner-up. And for the champion in Class B, Ms. Glenda Daroza, representing La Salle, took home the award. The course is very hard, and although I have played in this course before, but I still find it very hard, especially when you are going of age already. <laughs> Maybe in my younger years, it would have been more fun. Uh, but still, uh, I enjoy playing golf. We've been invited since at its start. So uh, the camaraderie is very nice and all fun. For the Class C, second runner-up is Mr. Masayoshi Miyatake of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines while Mr. Raymond Rodriguez won the first runner-up award. Mr. Bernie Suiza of Phoenix Petroleum, on the other hand, was hailed as the champion for Class C. Today, I'm very happy to play golf with professional. <laughs> I'm very lucky. Thank you very much. I'm happy with uh, becoming the first runner-up for Class C, no? so that's not bad. It was mentioned earlier, this course is, uh, I think, the third, no? Three most difficult courses, golf course in the Philippines, is one of the longer course. Well, and then towards after it was becoming really too hot, no? But I think it was timely that uh, we enjoyed almost, what, three-fourths of the, the whole game and then the remaining one-fourth, no? That was the most difficult for us, so the last two holes. Last but not the least, the overall Gross Champion Award was given to Mr. Fidel Portillo of Tata. I'm very excited uh, for winning again for the second time of STV Golf Cup Invitational. 
and uh, thank you for inviting us, especially Tata Company. And uh, we really enjoy the weather, the course condition, and uh, it's very hard for the longer course. Uh, most of us are, have difficult in uh, playing with the longer course. In, in fact, we have a double, double par for one uh, hole. The other participants, despite not winning, enjoyed the activity and went home with good memories. We have been a very uh, avid supporter of this golf <laughs> tournament of STD. Uh, from the very start, we are already joining it because uh, any kind of golf situation, whether it is uh, bad weather or not, we always join and we always enjoy playing the STD. Just like all the other players, nobody will say they play good. Everyone says we played bad. <laughs> so it's the same as the past year. But uh, we appreciate Boots Gamboa's effort to bring the industry people together in a friendly game of golf. And uh, at least for the next four hours, maybe for us six hours, we'll not, we'll not be thinking tunsa about the industry or the, the business. I don't expect to get in the awarding, you know, just enjoy and drinking a beer with our friend. The STV Cup, I think, is one of the um, golf events that uh, all of the media and uh, all of the car companies, the car presidents and, of course, the executives are always looking forward to. Um, because it's a time that we can, you know, we can just all um, relax in the golf course, you know, have, a, you know, have a, a good round of golf and the camaraderie is formed uh, between all of the brands and also all of, uh, between the media people as well. The game itself, it's uh, okay. Uh, I'm still many uh, room for improvement, but uh, it is very good opportunity to, for me not only the golf, but also uh, the uh, chance to uh, talk many people in the industry. It is really nice. This, since this is my second time, I really enjoyed the first time. That's why I'm here again. So my game might not be good, but I am in good company and I look forward to winning some raffle prizes. Those were the highlights and sidelights of the recently concluded 8th STV Golf 
Invitational Cup held at the Riviera Golf and Country Club in Cavite. Surely we will continue making memories and building good camaraderie among the members of the local automotive industry. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we now have our second car review this week. It seems like Volkswagen Philippines is happily treating their loyal customers and supporters with more affordable yet quality vehicles. One of them is a Volkswagen Tiguan. In this car review, find out more about this stylish car that also comes with a refined powertrain. Watch this. Under the hood of the Tiguan is a 1.4-liter engine that gives out 150 PS of power and 250 newton meter of torque. This engine is made more powerful and more fuel efficient by Blue Motion technology. The figures are made into a 6-speed DSG transmission which combines the convenience of an automatic and the fuel efficiency of a manual. The suspension setup of the Tiguan is made up of a McPherson independent suspension at the front and a multi-link independent suspension at the rear. It's simple and pretty basic, but it does the job through any road imperfections. The Tiguan's body is highlighted by these character lines that go around the vehicle. It adds an edgy vibe to the car, plus it defines the body. But the detail that further catches anyone's attention is this set of bold scene on headlights with turn signal lights, along with the chrome-plated radiator grille. Moreover, the look of the Tiguan is completed by these roof rails and this panoramic sunroof. The model also sports a set of 18-inch multi-spoke alloy wheels, making it indeed a sight to behold on the road. The elegant and sleek exterior style of the Tiguan no doubt continues on in the interior. Luxury is spelled all over, thanks to the Vienna leather seats material. Moreover, it comes with a leather three-spoke steering wheel. The Tiguan also comes with features that center on added convenience. There's enough cup holders for both passengers in front and at the back. A two-zone climatronic air conditioning with pollen filter and rear air conditioning vent. And even a front ashtray and a cigarette lighter.
Also, let's talk about space. Even though the Tiguan is a standard five-seater, it doesn't lack in space and legroom. Passengers at the back can enjoy the rear seats folding in a 60-40 split and can move comfortably through road trips in and out of the metro. There's also a luggage compartment with folding cover and an overhead storage compartment in case you need additional cargo space. For its infotainment system, the Tiguan comes with a multifunction display that is available through AM, FM, AUX, MP3, and Bluetooth connectivity, among others. Sound is enjoyable through eight speakers. When it comes to safety and security features, the Tiguan is equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system which checks the tires constantly and maintains the correct tire pressure. It also comes with an electronic stabilization program that takes charge of the detecting of critical driving conditions. Standard features like anti-lock braking system with EBD, hill hold control, and anti-theft system are also present in the Tiguan among other features. That was a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan, a car that has thrilled car enthusiasts not only because of its affordable price, but also because of its reliable features and engineering. And that's all the focus this week, and on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.